Hello everyone, welcome to Nettie's Notables, episode 7. This one's all about my teenage years and, uh, yeah, and bullying and what I did about it and the difference between teenage years now compared to what they were when I was growing up. Um, that's basically what this one's about. Um... It's dedicated to my little dear friend who was like a son to me, honestly. Um, he's like the son I never had. Um, <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. This is dedicated to you, honey. Um, like I said, I would have it dedicated to you. And um, I know you love my vlogs, so you're an avid watcher of my Nettie's Notables for episode for some reason. I don't know, because I'm just totally crazy like that. Um... <laughs> I know some people actually look up to me like, dear God, help them. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I am actually very grateful. Um, anyway, back on the subject is at hand. Um, my teenage years. Okay, I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, in 99, actually 2000, I was 25, so it's like... Or was I? I can't remember. Anyway, it's been a long time. Anyway, 1995, I was not 18 or so. 1994, 95, I was 18, 17, 18 years old. That's when my teenage years ended. Well, pretty much. That's when I moved out on my own. Before that, I lived with my parents. As teenage years, I was a huge fan of this little boy band called New Kids on the Block. You know how kids love uh, One Direction now and Justin Bieber and stuff of that nature? Um, I was like that with new kids. I, Me and my sister used to share a room and all her, all her, um, pretty much our, our um, walls were plastered with posters. We had the dolls, we had the, the, um, the lunch boxes. I remember I have a new kids lunch box. In school, and I used to have the t-shirts and all that kind of stuff, memorabilia everywhere for new kids. And I'm like, I thought they were the biggest thing since the Beatles, but you know, since life spread, I loved them. And I, I can't believe they're still on the go today, but you know, that's besides the point. But anyway, all right, I haven't heard their new song yet either, so don't even ask. Um. <laughs> I also remember uh, teenage years, the parties I've had, like my sweet 16 birthday party. My first birthday party were actually allowed to invite boys, and most of these boys were my cousins, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, but seriously, I mean, all these boys were my male cousins, and stuff like that, and I had, my brother gave me the sweetest birthday gift, he played New Kids on the Block for me, when the birthday cake came around, there's a song called Happy Birthday they sing, and their Annie Dove album, and I friggin, I bawled, I literally broke down and cried, oh, that was the sweetest thing ever that my brother did for me, I also remember, um, that's my Swig 16. I also remember part of that. <laughs> a, the guy I was quote unquote dating at the time. We didn't really date date. We were pretty much very, 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 very innocent. Oh my God. So innocent. The most we would do is hold hands. Honest to God. I never kissed a guy till I was 18. And that's the truth. Um, yeah, I'm putting it all out there now. Um <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, um, as I was saying about this guy I was dating, I'm not going to mention his name, but he gave me a ring on that day. And the ring, I found out later, he found on the floor of a hotel. It was used. And I was like, oh my god, this is hilarious. And it turned my finger green. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Hilarious. Anyway, that's a good memory. Um, <laughs> and 
I also remember, oh God, in my backyard in the summertime, listening to music, sitting on the picnic table, sitting on top of the picnic table, mind you, singing at the top of my lungs. I couldn't sing for life. I mean, my life depended on me trying to sing. I would die. Um, <laughs> and uh, to this day, I don't, still don't know how to sing, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't care at the time. I used to sing uh, every day in the summertime. Also, when I was between the ages of 16 and 18, I used to go to visit, down to visit the, 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 um, the children's hospital, which was down the road from where I lived. And I used to wheel down there, and there's this huge hill, and I was like, oh, my God. I had to push myself back up, push myself back down every day. And <laughs> oh my god. Excuse me. Bless the cough. I'm so sorry about that. But anyway. So by the interruption. I remember that. Going down there and meeting so many people. Making so many friends. As like, I met so many people. I met one in particular. He was quite talented. He had cystic fibrosis. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a severe lung disease. Where you're, um, at the time, I didn't know if he's alive today, honestly. He might be up in heaven somewhere, but... I uh, remember him being a very happy person. Not letting anything get him down. And I had a lot of friends like that. And that's what influenced me to be as happy as I am today my friends. I used to go to youth group meetings. I had youth group meetings every second Friday after school. I was part a, of a, another youth group. They used to meet there on Saturdays, which was uh, one Saturday a month, I think, at a friend's house. And we, all we'd do was watch a movie, eat junk food, and gossip. Well, basically chat, right? Hang out and stuff. Be teenagers. I remember wakeathons. I remember uh, casino night events. I remember social events like crazy. Oh my goodness! I remember um, high school dances. Oh my god! I never missed one. I am so freaking loser. Anyway, <laughs> that's okay. You already know about my high school times, so I won't even mention that. I also remember um, going to the hospital. A few times when I was a kid growing up. As a teen, uh, when I was 15 years old, I broke my arm. And I shattered it. <laughs> Literally shattered it to the point that it needed surgery, emergency surgery. And it was my left arm and I was left-handed, so I was kind of much screwed. Um, so I missed half of my year in grade, f I think, five or six. Second year of grade five. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a scar on my arm. Let's see, from here to here, you probably can't see it. It's not very good with the camera and stuff, so I uh, can't really show it to you. But there's a big scar on my arm, but to, just to show you where I broke my arm and stuff. So uh, what I did was I went down a ramp at a friend's house, up the street from where I lived. Went down, no problem. The ramp went down like this, stopped, and then went down another way, and... I lost control, went down the second half part of the ramp, and fell right onto the pavement and broke my elbow. And oh my god, it ever hurt. Excruciating pain. Oh my god, anyone broke a bone, it's the most excruciating pain ever. Uh, I knew it was broken because I broke it before when I was 11. That was a different time when I fell off a bike. But, you know, I'm accident prone, anyways. I remember spreading my hand and. That kind of thing. Cut my knee open the same day. I remember doing that. I remember going to summer camps. Every year I used to go to summer camps from the time I was... I think I was about 13 to 25. I stopped going. And um, I tell ya. I used to go camping every year with my sister. And my sister and I were like so tight. We're like so... like We're like sisters, of course. We're going to, you know love each other and stuff because like we shared a room and 
Oh, we share a room, and I love my sister. Um, anyway, she's uh, in the province right now. Uh, anyway, living her own life. But that's besides the point. But anyway, as I always say, I used to go to summer camps. And these summer camps were so much fun. Oh, my God. These camps were for people with disabilities. And um, we all used to get together and for five days out in the wilderness. Seven-hour drive from town. And um, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Anyway, I'm going to do a second part to this because this is I had too much to say. I honestly got too much to say to make one big video unless it's super duper long, which will be forever to load. But uh, anyway, that's it for now. Stay tuned to part two. This is only part one. Trust me, there will be a more. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and comment and like this video. I know it's been a long time since you've seen my face. And I am will make up for it by making two videos instead of just one. So see you all next time in the next few minutes or so. Just click on episode two after this part. And I will see you then. Bye for now. Hee <laughs>